Hi, I am Xiao. In this talk, I will introduce our paper, Deep Animation Video Interpolation in the Wild. At the beginning of the talk, let's first watch a piece of cartoon video. I walked with you once upon a dream. I know. In this video, the dance of the princess is fluent and enjoyable. However, to make even such a short animation video is indeed very tough and complicated. Unlike natural videos that are directly recorded by cameras or some 3D videos rendered by computers, the 2D animations are made from the scripts drawn by hand. A continuous sequence of motion will require a lot of work of professional animators. If the animation producer decides to make a film in the full frame rate of 24 frames per second, that is, to draw a unique script for every 24th of a second, it will burden a huge amount of budget and will wait for a long production cycle. To reduce the costs, animation producers usually reuse one drawing twice or three times, which is called on twos or on threes. However, this method lowers the actual frame rate of the video. Compared to the full frame rate video on the left, the video in 8 FPS shows a noticeable feeling of freezing. Therefore, it is highly desirable to invent a method to automatically generate the intermediate frame and hence to increase the frame rate. To facilitate this task, we built up a large scale and high quality data site named ATD12K, where 10,000 triplets are used for training and 2,000 from different animation sources are set for evaluation, while rich annotations are also provided for further analysis. We also propose an animation-specified architecture which contains three steps to generate high-quality intermediate frames. Specifically, the segment-gated matching module computes the piecewise motion between two input frames and the recurrent flow refinement module refines it to more precise pixel-wise flows. Here we show some interpolation examples of our proposed method. The motions in the interpolated videos are more fluent than the original. The difference can be more obvious when played in the lower speed. And here we show comparisons with some state-of-the-art methods. The data set and the code can be found by scanning the QR code. Thank you for your interest.